Hi, I'm Dabs from Silk Media. I'm super excited to have you join me in this tutorial. And in this one, I want to show you how you can super boost your website speed. Having a slow, draggy website can be a serious, serious pain. You'll be running in between installing a bunch of plugins on your WordPress website, going back to your host to see how they can help you solve the problem all to no avail. But in this tutorial, I want to show you an extremely, as a matter of fact, free plugin that you can get started with that will take your website from draggy to super fast loading. And we even experimented with this same plugin on one of our websites. We just love the result we get with this plugin on all of our websites. As a matter of fact, we are trying to implement this into our workflow as a web agency to begin to install these on every website of our client because we know that speed is important when you have a website. So let me show you how to get the best of this plugin called Fast Pixels and how you can use it on your own WordPress website. So right here on my screen is fastpixel.io. We'll leave a link to that in the video description. You can check it out. FastPixel is so different and is able to get amazing results because not only does it help you cache your website, it also would help you optimize your images and render them publicly as web page. And you know web page is a lot faster. This is what other plugins will charge you a ton to help you do on your WordPress website. And also, that's not everything. It then stores your website files on a CDN and makes it available in different locations across the world so that anybody who wants to access your website in the United States, for example, will have access to it. Anyone who also wants to access your website, maybe in the United Kingdom, would be able to have your website delivered to them in a location close to them there so all query calls are not going directly to your hosting server as a matter of fact if you install fast pixel on your wordpress your hosting will thank you for this because that is less query on your server so like i told you fast pixel is here you can go through that website we'll leave uh, a link to that in the video description for tutorial purpose i have a website here that i want to experiment with as you can see is a temporary website from Hostinger. I'm using Hostinger because I don't want to use a managed hosting or use maybe the premium hosting that you pay through your nose for. So what I want to do first is to copy this URL and then let's come to page speed inside. Let's paste the URL here. Let's see what this would score first before this plugin and then after the plugin. So these are tested in Germany, Frankfurt, and then this is the result is a C performance. Uh, the page size is 2.6 MB. The load time is 1.65 seconds and the request is 62. Not a bad score really, but our website load here in less than two seconds, which is super, super cool here. And if we come to this here, you can see here that for our mobile, we have 89 in terms of performance. SU is 85 too as well. Accessibility and best practice are good. And you can see for here, our first contentful paint load at 1.2. So let's check desktop. Let's see this. Wow, amazing. This is loading in 0.3 seconds. Wow, this is crazy. For us to take this C or B performance to A performance, let's see if FastPixel is able to deliver on that for us. Uh, so now let's come back to the back end of this website. Let's come to plugins. Let's come to add a new plugin. Like I told you, it's a free plugin. It's available in the WordPress repository. So if you type in fast pixel, you should be able to have this plugin here. It's a pretty new plugin. It has 4,000 active installations already and five star ratings. That's a good, good, good plugin. So let's install this and let's activate these two as well. Immediately this plugin is activated. We have fast pixel website accelerator catch has been cleared. So now let's come here. Let's see what we have. Uh, as you can see here, uh, home page is queued and all of the other pages are not catched yet. So that's the thing. I want to talk more about this in case you have a large website and you want this cached 
as fast as possible. And those are the things you get when you invest in the pro version of this tool. But while this is queuing up and this is getting cached, let's go through some of the settings that we can run. So if you come to settings here, uh, the first thing you have here is a precept for you to either work on a safe mode or you want to do a balance mode or a fast mode. By default here, we have the balance mode activated. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to leave this as balanced. And then let's come back to other things that we can still do here, which is to come to settings. Uh, the first thing is for you to save still. You can save older cache while the new cache is being generated. Uh, so in between that, you want people to still have the old one. That's possibility. You can turn that on. But for me, I would not turn this on because I just want uh, people to see the new cache as fast as possible. Uh, the other option here is for you to display cached pages for logged in user. I won't want to do this if it is my website and I don't want to be making changes on my website and I need to possibly purge my page before I'm able to see the changes if I'm designing. But this also will be useful if you're on a membership and people log in into your website to do certain things that are statutory. Uh, you might want to uh, serve cache pages for them uh, so that you reduce that query on your server. That's also a possibility, but I wouldn't be turning that on. A speculation rule, we already have this uh, implemented from our preset, but you have several options here. And if you come to your page exclusions, there are certain pages on your website that you might want to exclude from being cached, like a checkout page, a cart page. You don't want people having a cached version of that because you're actually taking a live payment. So you can specify those URL here. If you're using WooCommerce or any e-commerce solution, or you have dynamic pages that serves dynamic content to people, you want to come here and exclude those pages from being cached. And I think that's extremely important here. There's some other things like parameter exclusions. You might want to turn that on. But again, I will leave that. Disable all parameters, as you can see from here, is turned on, which is good. Uh, from here, these are the post types that you have on your website. You can check that. Uh, in your case, if you use maybe ACF or maybe some other uh, custom post types, you should be able to see all your post types here and you can begin to click. Let's say, for example, I have floating element and I want to exclude this from caching. If I click on this, I can click this and then I will have this excluded here, right? Super simple and easy. You can do this for every of the post types that you want to exclude from caching. But for the purpose of this example, I'm just going to return this back like this. Super simple and easy here. You can also port pages by URL. You can just come here, post that URL here, and then port that page. Uh, super simple and easy. Once you're done, hit the Save Changes button, and that's it. Uh, the next thing you want to do here is to come to JavaScript. If you do not want to optimize JavaScript at all on your website, you can just click this here. By default here, we have optimized JavaScript turned on. For me, I really don't know how this plugin does optimize, but it might just be that it is minifying them. I can't tell. But again, if you do this and setting JavaScript that is useful on your website is not functioning as should, you can just come and exclude them here. Just paste that JavaScript here so that it excludes them from being optimized so that they can work as should. And also you want to exclude GDPR, which is very, very important because you don't want to optimize them. Another thing you can still do with this plugin is to delay non-critical JavaScript. These also work well, but I have not used this plugin enough to experiment with which one worked the best, but which I will do. And maybe I will do more tutorials on that subsequently for you to know which one would work. But again, I don't really think there is a one fit solution, but I think the result would be based on the type of website you have and the type of JavaScript you run on your WordPress website. So if you optimize this, if you're not getting good results, uh, what I would advise that you do, or maybe you do this and your website is broken, what I would advise you do is to just delay critical JavaScript so that they run as they should, but critical JavaScript would not load, it would delay them until when they are needed, and that's good for speed. So there is no need for a JavaScript on your cart page loading if you have an e-commerce website when you load the home page.
So why should uh, your cat JavaScript load? It doesn't make sense because you're not going to cat. For the purpose of this example, I will just stick to delay non-critical JavaScript. That's it. So now let's come to the next one, which is images. Uh, we already went over that already. So you can use the lossless, the glossy or the lossy. Uh, glossy here is best for photographers, professionals who just want high-end quality. Uh, you don't want to lose quality whatsoever. So you can leave this as glossy which is medium, which is okay. But if you come to lossy here, this just gives you an identical image to the human eye. But at the back end, there are some optimization that has been done to that image. This basically would be recommended for most users. And that's exactly what I'll be using for this tutorial. And if you come to lossless, you can see this. This is ideal for technical drawings or maybe from image from vectors any graphics you're using whatsoever. But for the purpose of this example, like I said, let's stick to lossy. And from here, you have options here, which the first one is image crop. These would automatically crop images to fit to their display area perfectly. Another option here is to add image sizes. Uh, this definitely had missing width and height to image element, but that's also something you can turn on there. So I will just save this as lossy. And the next thing here is to come to front. You can see this is set to compatibility mode, which is good. You have option here for integration. So you can integrate this with Cloudflare. In case you're using Cloudflare, you can just go to Cloudflare and get your API token and also your zone ID for you to be able to pop them in here. In case you don't know how to get this, you can just click this, how to set up. You'll be able to see direction to help you. And that's it. Uh, you can also come to diagnostics. As you can see here, advanced catch, everything here is fine. And there are no conflicting plugins. If they are, you should be able to see that here. And I think this is super, super good for you to be able to diagnose your website. And then come to help center. From here, you can come to the knowledge base to read more. You can go to support. You can upgrade plan and you can request a future. How super easy and cool it is to optimize your website using this plugin and that's what i love about it it is beginner friendly unlike complex uh optimization plugins that you would need to maybe use ai to interpret certain things for you this is super self-explanatory uh, so right now let's come to our cache status let's see what we have and you can see our own page is cached, but our about page, vlog, profile are not cached yet. If you toggle on this here, you will see this call to action here that you can request uh, caching this by yourself. So right now, if you come here, you can just click the cache now. Uh, cache now, let's cache now, and let's cache now. And these ones are also in queue. While this one is being queued here, it may take some time again for this to be cached. And if you want faster caching process, we are going to need to upgrade to the pro plan. I'll get back to that eventually for you to be able to see how that work. Uh, so right now that we have our own page cached already, which is good news. Let's come back here and then uh, you can see what we have with this before 97 and for mobile we have 89 now let's analyze our website speed let's see what we would have let's come to ping them to as well and let's test this again for us to see the result that we are going to get so the, hang on here test is running let's come back here so we can see that we are now eating 98 on our mobile. How super cool is this? This is super, super, super awesome. Uh, so now let's come to desktop. And you can see we are eating 99 right now on our desktop. This is super cool. That's how super simple and easy it is for you to use this plugin to take your website from wherever it is to the next level, which is to be an A performing website. So let's come back here. As you can see, we went from C to A. Performance is now 92. You can see just two requests, 307 milliseconds of load time. This is super crazy and amazing. Uh, you can see our page side is now 83 kilobyte. Wow. Super awesome. From MB, we eat straight up to 
kilobyte. This is super, super cool. As you can see here, everything is eating the A note. Amazing stuff here. And this is using a server like hosting. This is not managed hosting. This is super, super, super awesome. I love this. And I believe that you also would love this. So now let's come back to our website here. From here, you can easily come to Fast Pixel. You can catch your you can check your catch status. You can go to settings. You can purge the catch for this page. And you can port for you can port all the catch for every of the page from here. And that's how you can easily navigate things. So in case you have made changes to your website, you want to port that catch, you can just easily click this one to port the catch for that particular page. And that's super, super awesome. So let's see what this is. As you can see, all the pages are already catched. And I think that's super awesome. So that's exactly how to use fast pixel to optimize your website for amazing speed so now let me tell you what the limitations of these plugins are using the free version and also when you might need to update to the paid version uh, let's come back to their website and then let's come to their pricing so if you come to their plan here, you can see that for the free plan, you can use this up onto 1,000 page views per month. So the good thing here is that if you are just starting out your website or your blog and you are having less than 1,000 page views a month, you can use this literally for free. And you can see everything you're going to get. Uh, standard caching speed, one website, auto WebP delivery, super awesome and i think their standard caching speed is not bad either you can see that it took us some few seconds or maybe like a minute to have our pages cached if you want more with this plugin then you need to come to their plan a b and c plan uh, for their plan a you can see here that you're going to be paying eight dollars 33 cent per month for this and you can use this for up to three hundred thousand page views per month and this can work with unmeted CDN traffic and also automatic WebP image delivery like we have there. You can use this up onto three websites and you have priority caching speed. You will not know what this priority caching speed will do if you run a website that you update things from time to time. If you need to keep purging your cache, maybe when you make changes to your website and you need this cached with speed asap every time you are making changes then priority uh, caching speed would be very very valuable to you uh, so right now for plan b and c you can see that you have two million page views here per month you have five million page views here per month and then you have these for up to 50 websites and for unlimited website here and you have personalized migration assistant here in case you need someone who should help you uh, migrate your website. Priority support for both and priority caching speed for every of their paid plans. And I think that's super, super good. I like this tool because it gives you option for you to use as you grow, then you can scale with them. If you're a beginner, you don't know so much about optimizing website and you need something that can literally help you take a hold of your website without doing so much this is ideal for you like i've showed you in this tutorial so that's my time for this if you find this valuable if you have learned one or two things hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to see more awesome tutorials like this if you have any comment whatsoever drop them in the comment section i'll be looking out for them i'll see you in another tutorial all the best